Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile. I'm the essential. You can find the website www.fipstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fipstalker nickname. Good evening, today is uh, August 13, 2014. It's uh, 11 pm time in Toronto, and this video is a quick um, weekly midweek uh, review that I um, that I usually record on Wednesday as an distribute on my blog. This uh, this video is actually a follow-up of the three videos, video weekly video reviews I only provide to my newsletter subscribers. So if you want to, uh, if you want to actually receive those videos, um, you can just subscribe my newsletter on uh, www.fipstalker.com. It only takes a few seconds. I respect uh, your privacy. I um, I actually hate spam, so. You know, if you don't want to receive my emails, you just hit a button and I will never bother you anymore. Uh, give a look to, to those videos. So let's start from the euro dollar, um, which is what you see on the screen. Those who follow me, we remember that we had a sequence of uh, extension short. We are in the second um, setup of that sequence, starting from uh, an anchor that I uh, trace, uh, a retrace that I um, that I um, trace from uh, the 13502, which is the lows we saw in uh, June here. And the current uh, area of resistance starts at 13417 with a stop above 13437. As I mentioned, price is at this important level of support, 13380. And this uh, level of support will only be um, confirmed if market moves above this 13438. So at the moment we had the sequence of measured move. The first measured move was traced from lows to lows, and that's where program trading was was actually trading shorts here at so 134.34. And as we can see, price was brought right into that 133, um, 33 level, 34 level here, the level of uh, first target and after that uh, program trading came in and started taking profits here and those profits brought price into the next uh, um, short in this sequence of measure move here and price was brought at those pre levels twice uh, those levels are at 134.20 just 15 pips below and as you can see we had the first test of this area uh, area and the um, the stock the pri price never went above one thirty four forty here. Price went down again into that uh, level of support or the one thirty three thirty three and then again the market went into this area of resistance one thirty four twenty again was tested. Now uh, there was an interest interesting very interesting trade here on the fifteen minutes and. Um, I can show you a very nice sequence of measure move shorts and there was a possibility to enter this trade for a gain in case the market just continued higher and uh, we got a um, we got a first um, measure move in the sequence here the market continued lower we had the next measure move and first and first and second target were hit were hit so the market then just continue lower with this nice sequence of measure moves here and eventually it came to a point where first and second target again were hit and uh, and the next and the next measure move in the sequence failed that's where we had confirmation of uh, that our short was completed and now then we could actually start trading longs uh, tracing from lows to highs and as you can see here, although this first measure move failed, we could actually enter at this 133.47.48 with a stop below 133.34, which is basically only 14 pips trade. And this trade would have given a free risk trade. And by the way, I'm going to talk about risk management and money management tomorrow. If you want to join my um, webinar on FH Street, go to my website and find the information there. Anyway, as we can see, this market then came back into this area of resistance and this is still acting as an area of resistance. So we're still there. If you entered here, you would have a free trade to stop below lows. 
uh, I still believe that this market can actually move above 134.40 level and then confirm this area of support and has the potential with the potential to go into 136.60. Moving to the SP500 with a confirmation of this area of support. Price never went below 1.1890.25, uh, uh, 18.90 here. The low was actually 80.90.25, never went below that. Now, this market has a first target at uh, two, uh, 2022 here, 2023. And there is also a second target a little bit higher here at 2080 level. So if we are uh, looking for a continuation higher, I believe this market is going to continue higher. You know that this market has 2500 as the next target and very, very high time frame. So any retracement should be a, a buy opportunities for this market. Typically, the SP500 does not retrace a lot when uh, when uh, actually uh, there is there is participation. Funds, they keep buying and you can see you, you, you will have moves similar to this. So there'll be a lot of buying going on in the next day probably. So moving to the dollar index, the dollar index is still hovering around that first level of um, target here. And there is a very good possibility that we will see this market moving uh, lower into the next measure move long. This could actually correspond to the um, euro moving higher into that 136.60 area. And this could be for the dollar index, the 8077, but could also be the 8040 level here. So I think this market is moving laterally, and there is a good possibility that uh, it will retrace instead of um, breaking out. But remember that the euro is still in a short, so the euro has to confirm in order for the dollar index to continue to move lower. Moving to the gold mini, we trace this level, the one, the 1302. The market did not go to test the level. There was a big front run here, so I would not consider that level traded. So I'm going to look at the four hour chart and see what happened there. Uh, and um, and uh, to do that, I need to look at the four hour chart and I'm going to show this here. And let's see where this market is at the moment so when we when i look at the 240 minutes here we need to look for uh, what the, what what is the support that this market is actually respecting here and this could actually be a high to high from previous high here and at the moment this is what i'm going to use first target 1331 and second target 1342 moving to the us dollar to japanese yen a lot of people uh, uh, were talking about uh, the US dollar, the Japanese yen actually going higher, but actually the opposite uh, is happening here. And we, know, we knew that when we saw the sequence of measure move fails, failing in this area, then the market came back into this 101.53 level. And we know that this 101.53 level is quite a large, um, um, it's quite a large target here and that would be 107.27 i also wrote recently uh, i've written recently um, a japanese economy um, review uh, along with the currency review fundamental uh, review for the currency and you can find this on fsh.com just look for japanese economy uh, search for japanese economy and let me know what you think about that article moving to the euro versus the japanese yen I also hear people speaking about the euro continuing moving lower here, but see there is no um, there's no point in this. This this uh, uh, this market is on top of this 136 136.80 area here, and when we look at the four hour time frame, we need to remember that uh, the uh, highs to lows here has now pierced. So mm, we already had an indication that the support was actually uh, working when we saw this uh, highs to lows here breaking and that would have been a, a good entry point as well an entry point uh, 136 um, uh, 58 60 with a stop below lows and the market even came back to trade the old way halfway back so this is the current this is the current uh, trade at the moment we have to keep in mind this is 
uh, lows to highs so 136.35 the first target is 137.25 with the potential to for a continuation higher in this market so this market is not going lower is actually going higher at the moment and um, um, and actually longs are confirmed at the four hour chart as well as the daily chart moving to the pound versus Japanese yen we have this um, sequence of measured move actually a traditional measured move here with a resistance at 173 174 area which progressing to first and second target the next uh, measure move in the sequence uh, on the daily time frame has failed already and that happened when we saw price moving higher today above 171.88 now this market has traced a measure move short as you can see here there was a reaction at this 172.47 but I don't um, trust this uh, resistance level here for me the sequence of measure move lower has failed here and let's see where we can get a, a new confirmation for this market I will use an extension uh, an extension uh, short here from previous lows before the move um, lower so we will have a confirmation when price gets above 171.42 the 43 here with a stop below lows and on the 15 minutes time frame we can even uh, look and see if there is a structure here in price unfortunately there is not a lot of price information here due to this um, big bar lower here but we can uh, on the 15 minutes if you want to be very very aggressive can actually wait for 171.25 to be pierced on the upside and then you can enter along with a stop below lows here notice that uh, that uh, this this 15 minutes short is still in place so if it's respected the market will actually continue lower so we need to see price above 171.25 in order to uh, accept uh, longs here otherwise long will not be accepted moving to the euro versus the canadian dollar um, you will remember that i have a target for this market in the 138.56 and it's possible that this market is going to get there when the euro dollar gets to the 130.20 uh, uh, area of target now this area at the moment that is actually pushing price low is 147.12 it has the potential to bring price into 142.80 and into 140.57 here now will this continue we don't know that and we know that if we get a confirmation so this is really related to what is going to happen to the euro dollar if the euro dollar pushes above that level that we have clearly identified very simple level it's um it's there you have to just check whether it's it's uh, pierce on the upside or not if that level is pierced on the upside there is a possibility for the euro and canadian dollar as well to continue higher and that continuation will, will get this will, has the potential to get this price into 150. Um, there is also a level a very important level that we have to monitor on the daily time frame here and this is the um, trace from lows to highs and as you can see this uh, area area of support as uh, is now into is now into um, is now playing so we have to monitor and see what is going to happen on the four hour chart so let's uh, let's look at the four hour chart and see uh, where uh, where price is there <coughs> So that we can actually uh, try to 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 verify uh, whether this area is going to act as an area of support so uh, what i see here is that there is a level an area of resistance here starting at 140 uh, mm -hmm. 46 50 that probably did not come into play 146 43 146 50 well seven pips seven pips of uh, of front run this might possibly be uh, have traded today if that's the case 
we will see a continuation lower past this 145.38 which actually would be you know a confirmation of this area this area of uh, of resistance here if that does not happen and the euro actually resumes higher then this becomes a very good opportunity to buy and we would need to look at the 15 minutes here uh, if we want to become very aggressive always mind risk protect your capital you know that uh, protecting your capital it's job number one it's rule number one of trading so be always very mindful and careful on what you risk and how you risk your money here we have a sequence of measure move on the 15 minutes and as we can see um, this is a sequence of traditional measure moves and the market uh, actually mm, was able to bring price lower into this uh, second target so at the moment if you want to get very very aggressive and don't i never recommend that it's better you give time to the market to show what it is doing uh, but uh, you can actually use this um, one of this level the the one uh, 45 90 level as a level of breakout if you want to enter when you if you do that be be very careful this is a very aggressive trade and that's not something i would recommend if you do that exit alpha as soon as your uh, gain equals one unit of risk so let's get a free this trade as soon as possible on this trade that's my recommendation uh, Moving to the uh, pound versus the US dollar here, uh, this market has been uh, bearish as we would uh, expect it to be. Uh, we were expecting this market to be um, to be bearish, and we had a continuation lower, large continuation lower today. Uh, I want to remind you for this market the sequence of measure move we had and at some point we started trading in extensions here from lows to lows pressing to first and second target and then price just continued trading in extension we saw a next the next extension here which price again into first and second target and now uh, the market is above well well uh, uh, below that second target so we could uh, anticipate a retracement into the next measure move so this market can only reverse at this point if we get above 167.57 um, and if price approaches 167.40 and then reverses actually we will continue moving lower and this market has been very very strong but at the moment is aligning has been is being actually uh, dragged uh, down uh, by the euro area because of course you know you can be recovering and uh, they may be ready for a for a for a hiking their interest rates but still lots of their economy depends on the euro and the euro is not doing well at the moment so uh, the euro euro land and and the euro area is not doing well so that may be one of the reasons this market is moving lower now uh, I don't, uh, although I study fundamentals and I, I like to understand what's going on from a fundamental point of view, I don't use that in trading. And to me, only the, the, the levels, these levels are important. If we get above 167.57, then we'll start trading this market on the upside. Moving to the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, you will remember that I'm waiting for this market to test 090.80. Now, if we get a strength in the US, uh, sorry, weakness in the US dollar, this market could just uh, reverse higher and retest the previous size. We don't know that. We don't, I don't anticipate that. I just trade the sequence of measure that I see, them, I see at the moment. And you will remember that there is from this high to this low. And last week we had this test on 93.72. This was not able to bring price into first target. So I'm still waiting for that. And there is a possibility for this to happen if this inner measure move here with an area area of resistance starting at 0.9307 with a stop above 0.9323 holds. If that holds price, we should see uh, this uh, 0.9229 uh, trade and maybe price even lower at this previous uh, lows here. Um, 
moving to the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar uh, the all the way halfway back here from highs in March to lows in the beginning of July here is actually now containing price and you will remember that on the opposite uh, side here on the long side of things we have uh, traders and professional traders and algorithm trading being uh, positioning uh, positioning themselves here um, in a way that now they are trading in extension so they will be interested in looking at what happens price and actually they'll be interested in in sustaining this price when this price will come into the next area of resistance and this sorry the next area of support if we think of the long side and that would start at, at the 108.90 area and with a stop below 108.66 uh, so if markets gets into this area and bounces off that is going to be a, a good uh, you know entry point uh, and we can study the Fibonacci we can use the Fibonacci stalking proprietary technique in order to procedurally test this area of support uh, starting at 109.90 if price moves below 08.76 uh, that's a confirmation that the US dollar will correct too and we might try to enter uh, shorts here with a stop above eyes if you're a, if you're a swing trader uh, or try to enter short 10 year retracement and at that point we are going to target at least uh, this um, level the 10803 as a, as a level of support and exit so we might not have enough uh, space here to get a free trade I'm going to explain this concept tomorrow in my webinar uh, advanced um, risk management on uh, fsstreet.com so if you have time 12 GMT uh, tomorrow on, on fsstreet.com I'm going to uh, speak about practical risk management and money management to boost your profits too finally the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar you will remember that uh, I mentioned this area 84.15 that uh, worked at the beginning of July the market retraced all the way uh, into this area uh, and um, and and actually now is is getting participation in this area so there is the post the possibility for this market I'm going to remove the bottom line here uh, the the 040 um, uh, 84.92 level has been pierced already as you can see here on the upside and price will actually uh, and that's and that's an initial confirmation of this support so if we get above the, the area again uh, that could be an entry with a stop below lows and actually you could you, you could uh, take half of the trade there and wait for a retracement for the, the other half and uh, this market has the potential to go again uh, to all the way uh, into 88.23 so this would be a very very good trade here uh, 400 pips uh, with a second half of the leg uh, taken with a, with a much smaller time frame here is going to be a um, very good trade up to 20 reward to risk here so that's something that's what I'm looking for in this market so uh, this is it for today thanks a lot for your attention uh, uh, if you have any questions shoot me an email i i look at personally and answer all the emails i receive and uh, if you are interested in practical real um, risk management that can help you boost your gains and protect your trades and understand uh, how um, project how risk management can be used to um, to actually um, uh, manage your risk and also um, manage uh, inc increase increase the um, increase the level of risk management to use um, and you can achieve watch my uh, webinar there is new information there and things that you don't um, find anywhere else thank you very much and uh, have a great uh, evening and a great trading day tomorrow see you tomorrow bye bye now